Hi everyone, I'm Vani Kapildeo and I'm based in Edinburgh, originally from Trinidad. I'm going to read some old things and some new things. And I'm sorry I can't share the screen. A world in which the hands of people changed to things like flowers, for which new uneasy forms of consideration, by which that iron-suited man, foolish and careful, negotiates crowds, his two wrists bearing red hibiscus necessarily bruised, a little raised, a little forward, a riveled fountain, their corollas accompanying him. How approach the cockroach-ripped revoker of contracts? How approach him whose sand-crab hands try running askew? How approach him? Or how near the one mobbed by seagulls, helpless to pull a glove on leaking packets of corn? Ah, whose iced hands disappear, condense remade droplets, instant lasting blister silk, should he once touch a heart? Purgatorio, thirsty work. Can this mild waterfall be called a waterfall at all? I follow clear water flowing over rock, broadening into stairs of water flowing over rocks, broadening to seating places, limestone mild, knowing there are tripping places, drowning places, I sit softly, in flowing water, listening to people singing, walking hard. I, who never had the talent to improvise a descant. You were there, friend, and you were there in the swimming baths where ladies talked of hip and knee replacements. You were there a flash of fuchsia when my eyes blacked out, but I kept talking till bullying unlooped. A soft and tricky sacrifice phosphoresces up from marshland. You are there. You maze me away. Mountain descending a staircase. You appear all plateaus. Promise amazement. If only I can stop seeing upside down. Seeing everything upside down. Do you want to talk? Here I am. Conversations for a lifetime in 20 minutes and under. Two planes exited the runway of your face. My hands teared up and did not follow through. A wound that is also a thirst, a thirst that is also a river, a river that is also a consideration, a consideration that is also a cavern, a cavern of living saliva. There may we turn into snakes. Deep awake in thought of you it fetched some time to know whose disembodiment this was and steady out of such depth of sleep smile to dream again consider sleeping sleep transient sleep eternal sleep oblivious sleep active sleep utterance sleep walking sleep waking sleep marriage the wooden cabin of you when i met you Preparing cleansed my body, meant to say when I saw you, forgot my face, without home, meant to write, remembering a hundred strokes, without whom, head upside down. Would like to walk in a garden with you and hear the names of plants that, as you call them, are all sensitive. Seems so effortless, gods creating butterflies. You, tying your scarf. Citizenship, like being slapped about the face. That's your sunshine. Home, so small, it exists only when I am not in it. So small, I exist only when I'm contained in it. Every leaf, bell, star, ever lyricized lives in your eyes. Ceci n'est pas de la poésie d'amour, pretty damn like it, though a rose is a rose, is erosion, an impacted forest, extracted from birds, devastated only at our risk. My almost peaceful city turned the other cheek. 
in all gentleness, the cloud landed and stayed halfway up the hillside, striking terror in my heart. From Odyssey response, Hero, tell me how to simplify a song. Tell me about identity, fidelity, solve the problem of a face. Tell me about a state governed by emotion. Would you move, choose to move, if they force you into moving, if you cannot afford to, cannot afford not to? Make a song about one person who can cope. Is it a hero you want? Why not say so? I am suspicious of heroes. How do they survive? I know a mother who scattered her children on the way out of war and has not gone back to look. What if the hero shining like a falcon arrives, having traded their body for life, trailing killings and transactional sex? Is the hero empowered to treat their spouse to raw cuts of trauma, treat them worse and better than anyone else? Help can be a trap. Home, a mating of traps. Who do you want at your back? Enough. I am privileged to have civil conversations in a corrected city, commemorate to the correct dead. How changeable is a hero like modern rainfall patterns? How fearful is a hero patched like an archaic sail? How lifted up is a hero like the great-grandchild of immigrants hurting his parents, hoping his child is kind? Witness those ghosts who, after a natural disaster, don't know they're dead. Poor wet ghosts trying to board rail taxis home. Zeus, god of strangers, stranger, how are you cast away, cast upon your own resources, cast on wildly different styles of hosting? What if your angry host feeds you up to go to war? What if the gifts lavished on you lay expectations on you to go away, make a success of yourself and don't come back? What if you are blown back, empty-handed? You would be right to hide your name. Yes, you are a king at home. No? Slaughter and laughter cross your threshold in your absence. Slaughter and laughter at a distance shadow and echo you, no matter how you set off, or your clean presentation now among the elite. Yes? No? Where are you? Islands aren't always islands. All maps are pop-up. Volcanoes yawn, spatter out something the sea covers over. Rivers rise or silt up. Clumps form or dissolve, barely the size for two blue-coated Norsemen to duel on. Islands are provisional. World, whirl, the sea covers over. The Queen of the Dead lifts in her lily hand, with its violet nails, a head of snake hair. Do not go too deep. That way paralysis. You want action, like tired people do. Stranger, you are cast like in a dream of being on stage, unprepared. Is it right to invent lines? Traveller in body, buffeted about as a guest. Zeus loves us. Spirit traveller, revive as a good host. By Zeus, time traveller, if you see Columbus, shoot on sight. My last poem, Lullaby Number 3, For a Nuit Blanche. Snowfall, ancestral to my mouth. Snowfall, alien to my mouth. In this life as lost languages in living memory, O oh, extremes, mountains, deserts, not required to be born. Poem, am equipped for snowfall, your futurity won't know. Futurity won't know you or snowfall. Poor little verse. That was my last poem. In solidarity, thank you.